Surname, how confident are you that he'll stay there for three months? I'm fairly confident. Until they've done it, you don't know for sure. But he, he stays on strongly over two and five at Ascot. And, you know, I, I, I see it being fine. Is Kempton a track that we'll see him? Or? He's won there twice. He's, I think he's only run twice and won twice. He won the Wayward Lad Novice Chase. And I think he won the Pendle Novices Chase. So it's a good track for him. Um, how does he um, compare to a Chandler's over? Um, it's high class horse, really. I mean, there's they're two totally different horses in lots of ways. Clan's very pacey. Sorry, um, surname's very pacey. He's been winning over two and a half, which Clan's been more a three miler, more an out and out stayer. But they're both high class horses. Um, do they ever work together at home? No, never. You know, Scott rides, Scott Marshall rides in both, so they always go out different lots, and they, we never sort of gallop them together. Um, so no, they don't. Um, do you think surname's the horse to beat on Boxing Day? I think he probably is. Yeah. Um, you know, on his form of late, I think he probably is. Um, Clan is Obo, um, how's he been um, at home since the, with his re appearance in Ireland? He ran very well in Dan Royal. We always know he improves for a run. Um, he's had a great prep since then. I'm very happy. He had a way day at Wincanton. Yeah, he's in good shape. Is he in the same form as last year? Yeah, with that, I think he's probably better. He looks better. Physically, he looks better. He's in very good shape, yeah. Um, do you think a repeat of 2018 will be a good enough <laughs> That's a good question. I, you know, it's a leading, you know, you've got last, lost in translation and surname we weren't in the race last year. Thistle Cracker was behind him last year. And that'd be obviously a couple of others. So, you know, he probably has to raise his game again. Um, and if you were in Harry's um, position, <laughs> which, which one would you God, That's a difficult one. It really is a close call. I, I, I honestly haven't influenced Harry in any way. He's going to make his own decision. Um, I'd, I'd probably leave it like he's doing, leave it to the last minute and see, make sure both horses are fit and well and healthy, and then it'll be a tough one. Um, and you've won 10 King George's already. What would it mean to win the level? Fantastic. Oh, it's a brilliant race to win. Love winning it. And he's, you know, it'd be just like, uh, yeah, you know, you, we all want to be out there. So mid season Gold Cup, we just want to be there.